All right, here's the deal. To be a good center back, you have to be rock solid and unshakable. And that's exactly how you describe Timbers defender Liam Ridgewell. Not just on the field. Ridgewell is also a true pro when it comes to interviews with the media. So we decided to put him to the test. We told Ridgewell that a national reporter is coming to interview him about soccer in America. But that reporter is no reporter at all. Local actor Sean McGrath is going to ask some unconventional questions, and we'll see how long Ridgewell hangs in there. Let's just say Ridgewell is a true center back. Liam, thanks for taking the time. No problem. Now, what are the things you miss about Portland when mm -hmm. you're not here? Yeah. Like when you're traveling, when you're back in Europe, mm -hmm. what are the things in Portland that you're like? I mean, luckily enough, where I live, I, I get to live on the lake. It's down Lake Oswego. And uh, the first thing I bought when I first come here was a boat. Sure. You know, everyone seems to have one on there. You know, there's restaurants and, and bars down on the lake. And, uh, you know, when I go back to, to London or I'm away on an away trip, you know, it's one thing, one thing I, I do definitely miss. Now, do you think your boat misses you when you're overseas? Uh, I th I'd hope so, yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. I think uh, I'll tuck her up nicely and, and put her away and, uh, <laughs> and uh, can't wait to get back to get out on it. Now, can I ask, in terms of playing here, have you been called any of these following terms? <laughs> a, a ball watcher? No, ball watcher, no. An actor? An actor, definitely. I've had that one. Mayor Haver? Mayor Haver, no. A botch job? Botch job, no. A Mary Poppins? No, not yet. A cobbler? No. A Pratt? A Pratt, I've had that one. Mr. Shambles? No. <laughs> a wobbler? No, thankfully. Okay. So about 40%. I've had, I've had about 40%. I think I've had a few more other things that have uh, yeah. been said to me and uh, probably shouldn't repeat them. But I'm curious about what it's like, just aside from being a player, but uh, an alien. Mm. In, in the United States. Yeah. Um, walking down the street, mm. have you felt any aggression? Have you felt any um, uh, resentment from Americans who might harbor mm. ill will toward Come Brits over. from yeah. the war, mm -hmm. Revolutionary War of 1812, that kind of thing? Yeah. No, never. I've, and you know, every city I've, that I've visited or gone to, I've never had anything like that. Um, and especially important, I've had nothing but incredible support. It's been great so far. People who don't recognize you as a member of the Timbers, mm. they believe you might be a barista of some sort. Yeah, they, they do. They think they might dash them out a coffee or a pint or a drink or something. You know, I might be... Perhaps a latte art champion. A latte or something like that. That's right. I'll try and sell them something. You know, you, you never know. So... Uh, you still somewhat cling to the uh, tradition of switching shirts, switching mm -hmm. jerseys. Yeah. Um, now, do you guys wash those before you store them? Well, what's the, what's the protocol? It depends what shirt you've got. Um, I've washed, I've washed a lot of my shirts that I've got. Um, a couple I haven't. A couple have gone straight into a frame. So. Uh, so you can smell them anytime you'd like. Oh, uh, anytime you like. I mean, they're behind the, they're behind the, on the wall. Uh, 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 you're gonna take away. the frame down, of course. Take the frame down. I have to smash it up, you know. So it that's right. Just put it on and just cuddle into it, you know. So. Who uh, wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> Now, you've recently entered the swimwear business, yes. or not recently, but you mm -hmm. have been. Yeah. Um, is this a distraction that affects your play? No, definitely not. Um, I'm lucky enough to, my best mate at home, he does it from back home, which luckily allows me to concentrate while I'm over here. The banana hammock, which is more of a European custom, yeah. that's a pretty consistent seller, I'd imagine. It, it is. I mean, a couple of times I've been away and I've worn banana hammocks. Yeah. You know, I've done a few holidays where you, comfortable. you get an unbelievable tan. That's a, that's a good thing for me, and uh, we haven't got there yet. Uh, now, your teammate, defender Nat Borchers, recently celebrated his 300th game yeah. in MLS. Is he done? No. Definitely not. I mean, uh, we, we played on Friday and he scored the winning goal and, um, you know, since he's come here he's been fantastic and uh, he's certainly not done, I think. Uh, You'd give him more than a couple of weeks? I'd give him more than a couple of weeks. He's certainly shown more than a couple of weeks. At the minute, you never know, next week he might break down and uh, show his age, but for sure at the minute he's been, he's been fantastic. Probably. Been great. Now, you play with uh, four Argentine teammates. Yeah. Um, have you been able to keep it all business, not let <laughs> politics get in the way? I, mean, is... I, I have. I mean, that, lucky enough, uh, I don't speak Spanish or Argentinian, so they try and keep their politics to themselves, and I don't understand. They probably take the mickey behind my back. So no resentment nice. over the Falklands? No, for sure. No, no, not, not as such. Right. You know, we'll, we'll wait and nothing see. Nothing at least that you can understand. Not, not, no, I've not heard nothing. I've not heard anything resembling Falklands at the minute. Or in English? Like that. No, in English, so, so I'm okay at the minute. It's, it's glad I don't know Spanish. 
Um, talk a little bit about your relationship with T2. Mm -hmm. um, have any of them approached you um, asking you to buy them cigarettes or booze? No, thankfully. Not, not yet. Not yet. None, none of them have come to me yet. Um, booze, no. Cigarettes, no. I think uh, it's new for me. You know, 21 to drink over here is definitely something different. You know, back home, it's, it's definitely younger yeah. than that. And uh, uh, I've, thankfully, I've not seen any of them do it, so I don't need to tell any of them off. You have nearly 30,000 yeah. followers on Twitter. Well, yeah, that's right. Nearly 30,000. And um, probably 5,000 of them like me and the uh, 25,000 25, give me grief. Are you aware Justin Bieber has over 49 million followers? I mean, almost twice mm. what One Direction has. In relationship to Bieber and his 50 million followers, do you mm. feel a need to get better tattoos? I do. I mean, I, I definitely look at him and, and think, oh, what can I do? What, what's he done to try and, uh, try and bump my followers up? And uh, I might need to meet him. Maybe, maybe we can meet me and give sure. me a few tips. That'd be nice. Uh, Liam Ridgewell, Defender, Portland Timbers. Thanks for taking the time with us today. Thank you very much. This was meant to be a spoof interview. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I gave him curveball after curveball. I'm a true pro, that's why. You hit everything out of the park. Everything. <laughs> that was legendary. Thank you. Cheers, man.